Hello everybody and welcome. It is that time of year again. It is PAX weekend. I am just here at the night before I head down before the night before. So it's Wednesday night now and PAX doesn't begin until Friday but I go down tomorrow which is Thursday. So tomorrow is actually the night before but I do need to get some stuff together before I can actually go down to PAX and I will show you kind of what I'm gathering. Because um, you know if you're going to PAX you need to get certain things together like the passes themselves obviously need to go and I am bringing this which is my lanyard from my first PAX with all of my favorite pins from the last couple of years it's kind of like on, like badges of honor you know when people people will judge you at PAX based on the quality of your lanyard and um, this is going to be the one I start with chances are I'm probably going to uh, get a new lanyard on like day one and I'm gonna start loading that up with new pins but this is the one I'm gonna begin with and um, I will add pins to like the backside and stuff like that so this is my starting lanyard for the PAX bag I'm also going to be bringing this not because it's a good game but because it's useful uh, last year at PAX I got two of these giant sonic boom bags right and I don't know if I'm gonna find another bag like this at this year's PAX and this is incredibly useful for keeping posters straight. So I'm bringing this down um, just in case I don't find another one, uh, just to kind of help maintain the swag that I will be gathering. So this is my this is my poster bag, basically. And this is my bag for like the actual day of packs. We're getting like t-shirts and stuff. They're all gonna go in this backpack. But this is also the backpack I'm bringing clothes down in. So it's kind of a, a catch-22. And um, now that I say that, I really should be bringing, um, here, let me show you something else. Because I'm gonna get a lot of shit, right? And I won't be able to fit it all in the backpack. So what I am also bringing is, let me close this real quick. There we go. What I'm also bringing is, I'm not gonna show you my closet because it's a mess. There we go. Okay, let's go right here. I'm also bringing this, which is my suitcase. And that is actually what the majority of the uh, the swag is going into for the return trip, at the very least. So I will be bringing this big old puppy. So I should probably pack my clothes in that and have the backpack be empty. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. And I also need to bring like camera gear and uh, cell phone chargers and camera chargers and uh, probably my laptop. Um, just to kind of keep an eye on like emails and make sure videos went up and stuff like that and charge my my uh, my uh, my camera and all that kind of stuff and it's it's gonna be so much fun I can't wait so I'm gonna finish packing here and then um, I will see you guys tomorrow uh, on the way down I'm actually staying with my brother um, for the for the weekend I'm gonna crash on their futon and we're gonna carpool together in the mornings of PAX and it's gonna be awesome I can't wait. Welcome to the magical land of post-production. Let's do this lickety split. Behold the wonders that is PAX. To our right, we have the Bethesda photo op booth where you can get a picture taken at Fallout 4, a picture taken at Dishonored 2, and a picture taken at Doom 4. No demos were available. Fuck you, Bethesda. That's some bullshit. I wanted to play Doom 4 like a motherfucker, but no, we had to get our pictures taken. Don't get me wrong. I fucking did get my picture taken, and here they are. Boy, weren't those great. Anyway, let's see what else we got. We got over here to your left, the Dungeons and Dragons booth, where they are showing off their brand new Dungeons and Dragons game, which looks fucking awesome, so keep an eye out for that if you like D&D &D and the ability to fuck over your friends by playing the DM. Over to our left there, we got the 2K booth, where they were showing Battleborn and some other fuck. I didn't actually play any of that because the lines were five hours long. There's the Intel booth. Who doesn't like processors? There's Ubisoft over there with their crappy pre-orders and their uh, Assassin's Creed and some other shit for honor. Who doesn't like for honor? It looks super fun. Uh, it's pretty simple and all that kind of crap. Over there we've got Cool Master who are really good at keeping your computer cold. Over there we got the Warner Brothers booth where they were showing off Lego Dimensions and the Mad Max game which is currently out in stores right now. I've heard it's pretty good. Look, there's Assassin's Creed. Look, there's some people. Look, here's Cooler Master again. Over way in the back we got the Indie Mega booth where there were hundreds, well not hundreds, maybe dozens of indie games. Quite a few of them, they're pretty good, including Rising Thunder and Distance, which you can actually see right there. That was a pretty fun driving game, you should look out for that. Here we have Games, which is misspelled, it looks Games. 
right there. I don't really know where they were. The Super Mario Maker! It's the Nintendo booth. They're showing off Super Mario Maker and Splatoon, which is already out. And look, there's Xenoblade Chronicles X, which looks pretty good. Over there was Turtle Beach. Who doesn't like crappy headphones? NVIDIA showing off some cool GTX shit and the Steam VR, which again, the lines were stupid long, but I love you, NVIDIA. You're great. War Gaming, which is World of Tanks and World of Warships, and I never really understand that because those, all those games are out. You can play them. Why are so many people around that booth? I don't understand. Look how big the booth is. Look at it. Doesn't make any sense. Look, it's PlayStation. I love you, PlayStation. Every dev I spoke to at PlayStation was radical, including the Morpheus shit, which we will see in a second. That's what that line is for right there to our left. That is the VR Sony line right there, which I cut because I got a scheduled appointment. Look, there it is. That shit's rad. I can't wait to get one. Well, not that one. I'll get the Oculus. Look, there's some more Warcraft warship bullshit. Who gives a fuck? It's all nonsense I don't actually care about. Look, straight ahead is Ark, which again is already out and early access. It's super fun. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? Over to our look, there's Double Fine. I love you, Double Fine. Your games are great. Brutal Legend was the best. I bought one of your shirts. Over there is Kill Strain, which is super fucking fun. Over there was Star Wars Battlefront, which there was only two stations for, so that line was like 15 billion hours long, and now I need to be kind of sneaky because they don't want me recording things in the Sony booth. Look, there's all the Uncharted stations, which was great, I suppose, but again, most of those games are already out, and they didn't have Uncharted 4. So who gives a fuck? We'll just keep tri trucking along. I actually took a picture at the Uncharted booth. I actually took four pictures at the Uncharted booth. And here they are. Boy, weren't those great. Oh, I love those images. They were just so fantastic. Moving right along. Look, there's Xbox. Hi, Xbox. Where's your merch booth? You didn't have one. Moving right along. Now we're about to go across the sky bridge into the other section of PAX. And turning, turning. There it is. There's the sky bridge. Look at all this fun crap you can get on sky bridge. You can get some... Some tabletop games and some plushy round pillow things. And there's a dude with a Final Fantasy hat right below me. Look at all those nerds. All these nerds just milling about. Hey, look, way off in the distance there, you can see the Behemoth booth, which I didn't actually stop by because I haven't played Castle Crashers in like 11,000 years. And if you look down to your right, down those stairs is Star Fox and the Zelda game, neither of which I played because, again, the lines were five hours long. Behold, Behemoth. Who doesn't like Behemoth? They're pretty cool guys. And over here is Street Fighter. Woo, Street Fighter. Street Fighter's the best. I love you, Capcom. Capcom's your guess best. There's more fucking Behemoth way over there. Uh, fucking Super Giant games are over there on the right wall. Here's the Minecraft story mode game from Telltale. Looks pretty good. Uh, you guys should probably get excited for that. It's way more serious than I thought it was going to be. Behold Minecraft. And Minecraft, there we go. Moving right along, there's the restrooms over there. Here we have the Astro Gaming booth, which I spent quite a bit of time playing Killer Instinct. There's the Twitch booth, and they were live streaming some shit with some people. You know, they bring on the YouTube guys and be like, Yo, oh, look, it's Twitch! You know, who doesn't like watching live streams where you're actually at the event? Behold Dreadnought! Which is a game, I guess. I don't know, I didn't play it. But, you know, there's Dreadnought, you can sign up for the closed beta. So that's kind of neat. A bunch of people standing in line. A bunch of people milling around. There's Corsair, who makes my RAM for my computer. Good job, guys. There's a big booth over there where they're uh, it's like Grenadia 2 or whatever. It's JRPG localization. So good job, guys. Bring those Japanese games to American soils. That's what I'm all about. Uh, oh, there's a burp for you. That shit's rad. Look, over there's Oculus to your left on the left side of the screen. Who doesn't like VR? I can't wait to buy my own fucking Oculus. And over there's Square Enix. Who were showing up? Just Cause 3, Final Fantasy 14, Final Fantasy 15, uh, the cheapy Final Fantasy, uh, Life is Strange, uh, Hitman Go, uh, fucking Hitman, uh, Lara Croft Go, it's a bunch of shit. Fuck great, who doesn't like Square Enix? Uh, buy Square Enix, you guys are great, gave me a shirt. Look, there's the Polaris booth! They wouldn't give me free tickets, you guys fucking me in. What do I have to do? What do I have to do to get my free tickets? There's people talking on a couch. Walk by, here's some shops and shit. Uh, PAX Rising, uh, it's a Devolver Digital, it's a good sh shit, what the fuck? There's a Gigabyte Gaming over there. Uh, some other things that didn't take video up, but that was pretty much all the cool shit that was at PAX. There's Polaris again, let's all wave at Polaris. Love you guys over at Maker Studios, and boom! And I am back from a very long but very enjoyable PAX weekend. It was an absolute blast. The swag video will be coming out here pretty soon. I literally, like, just got back and settled in and I need to unpack all that stuff and collect it so I can be like, here's this from that, here's this from that, blah, blah, blah. Um, that'll probably be tomorrow, but uh, I basically wanted to say that PAX was a rollicking good time. I had a blast. Got to play a lot of great games, got to meet a lot of awesome people, and um, I will be telling stories like that in the ever-loved swag video, which will be coming out tomorrow. 
And um, I will also talk about some of the people I met. Um, so basically, if you want story time for PAX, that's tomorrow's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all then. Have a good one, guys.